Hi friends and welcome back to my channel Abdi Academy 110. Today we'll be discussing the most famous theory of multiple intelligence by Howard Gardner. This is a very important question for B.Ed, M.Ed and UGC NET. Let us begin with a quote from Howard Gardner. Anything that is worth teaching can be presented in many different ways. These multiple ways can make use of multiple intelligences. This quote means that if anything is worth teaching, then we can present that teaching in different styles, in different ways. And while we are presenting the teaching in different ways, we are making use of multiple intelligences. He is Howard Gardner. The theory of multiple intelligences was developed in the year 1983 by Dr. Howard Gardner. He was a professor of education at the Harvard University. With this theory of multiple intelligences, Gardner points out that everyone has strengths and weaknesses in various intelligences, which is why educators should decide how best to present the course material means teacher should learn how to present the course material given in the subject matter through this theory gardner says that people are not born with all of the intelligence they will ever have this theory challenges the traditional notion that there is one type of intelligence that is iq that is intelligence quotient sometimes known as g for general intelligence that only focuses on cognitive abilities but this theory says that there are multiple intelligences there are different types of intelligence a child may possess now why is howard gardner's multiple intelligence theory so important it is important because it has an impact on how we think about human intelligence now look at this picture this picture symbolizes the different intelligences we have this picture represents different intelligences first on top we are having existential and logical mathematical intelligence now both these intelligences require cognitive ability existential intelligence means that a person is able to recognize the issues about human existence for example let's say a philosopher logical mathematical require reasoning and logic then visual spatial intelligence requires our eyesight because it contains pictures then musical intelligence requires our ears then linguistic intelligence requires a mouth because linguistic intelligence deals with the amount of words a person is able to speak then we have bodily kinesthetic intelligence which is related to how we feel and understand things by touching them interpersonal intelligence deals with how you manage your relations with others that type of intelligence then we have intrapersonal intrapersonal deals with how you have relation with yourself then we have naturalistic a person who recognizes and understands the environment more he has that type of intelligence now look at this picture this picture symbolizes the multiple intelligences like if you are smart enough to understand the rhythms of music then you are music smart similarly if you have kinesthetic intelligence you are body smart interpersonal intelligence you are people smart linguistic intelligence you are word smart mathematical intelligence you are logic smart naturalistic intelligence you are nature smart intrapersonal intelligence you are self smart and visual intelligence you are picture smart so these are all the nine intelligences now let us understand each type of intelligence in detail first one is linguistic intelligence that is word smart now those with linguistic intelligence they are very sensitive about the words they speak how they are speaking the words what type of language they are using and whether they are 
accomplishing or achieving the certain goals of language they are very sensitive about that and people with linguistic intelligence also have the ability to analyze information they are able to analyze the information they are able to create products they are able to involve oral and written language for example speeches books and memos example of a linguistic intelligence person is william shakespeare and oprah winfrey the people who are word smart can have a career as a lawyer as a speaker host author journalist or as a curator second type of intelligence is logical mathematical intelligence when you are number or reasoning smart if you have this type of intelligence then you can easily analyze logical problems and carry out mathematical operations and also investigate on scientific issues an example of this type of intelligence was albert einstein and bill gates they have the ability to develop equations they can give proofs they can make calculations they can also solve abstract problems so the people with this type of intelligence can have a career as a mathematician as an accountant as a statistician scientist or a computer analyst third type of intelligence is spatial intelligence that is picture smart so when you have this type of intelligence you are able to generate retain retrieve transform well structured visual images means you are able to remember images very strongly you are able to visualize imagine things you are very good with making maps charts videos and pictures now this intelligence is also called as general intelligence because it's common among people to visualize things but some people have this very strong since they are having a very strong memory so they are going to read and write for enjoyment they can also put together the puzzle pieces because of this strong memory and they can interpret means they can explain pictures graphs and charts very well they can enjoy drawing painting and also visual arts and recognize patterns very easily they can have a career as a pilot as a surgeon as an architect or graphic artist or even an interior decorator bodily kinesthetic intelligence body smart if you are having this type of intelligence you may use your whole body or parts of your body for example your hand or your mouth to solve problems or to create fashion for example michael jordan or simone biles now these people are having bodily kinesthetic intelligence they can use their body to create products they can perform skills they can solve problems because their mind and body are in union with each other they are bodily kinesthetic intelligent now people with this type of intelligence can have a career like a dancer athlete surgeon mechanic carpenter or a physical therapist if you see in all these career options they require mind and body union next musical intelligence now when you are having musical intelligence then you have skills of better performance you are able to make composition of musical tunes or you can even make musical patterns good examples are beethoven and ed sheeran now these people are having the ability to recognize create musical pitch rhythm timbre and tone now the people with musical intelligence can have a career as a singer composer dj or musician interpersonal intelligence when you are people smart when you are having this type of intelligence it means that you are able to understand recognize the intentions of others their motivations and desires and work in cooperation with them effectively examples would be 
Mahatma Gandhi and Mother Teresa as we know Mahatma Gandhi he cooperated with the Indians he was able to recognize the moods of Indians and he was able to fight for our country along with the people he had that interpersonal intelligence and also mother teresa she used to do social service she understood the pain of others so she lent her hand in social service she had interpersonal intelligence she was people smart people with this type of intelligence can possess a career of a teacher a psychologist manager sales person or could also be in public relations intrapersonal intelligence or let's say self smart if a person is having this type of intelligence he or she knows more about him or herself like their own desires their fears their capacities their strengths their weaknesses and they also know that how they can use this information to change their lives people with this type of intelligence can recognize they can understand their own moods their own intentions very very clearly example would be aristotle and maya angelo people with this type of intelligence can possess a career of a therapist a psychologist a counselor an entrepreneur or a clergy the last type of intelligence is the naturalist intelligence that is nature smart or environment smart if you are having this type of intelligence it means that you have an expertise in recognizing or classifying the different types of species for example flora and fauna which means you are able to differentiate between different types of animal lives and you are also able to understand your own environment you have more knowledge about it examples would be charles darwin and jane goddell now they are having an ability to identify and differentiate among different types of plants animals and weather formations found in the natural world good career options for this type of intelligence would be a botanist biologist astronomer meteorologist or geologist now do you want to know which type of intelligence you are having then why don't you try the quiz i have given in the description box below to help you identify which type of intelligence you are good at i hope you understood the concept really well and if you did then why don't you subscribe so that you be notified each time we upload a video be it mnet ugc net paper 1 and also ma english stay tuned for more videos